get ready with me like we're Shakira and her whenever whenever music video so the first thing that I'm gonna do is my eyes because I'm going to use black liner I'm gonna grab this little Apple black liner pencil and I'm just gonna go inside my waterline just like this after that, I'm going to grab an angled brush that looks exactly like this and just smooth it under so we can get that black eye effect from underneath. Before we continue with the eyes, I'm going to grab some clear tape. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it right there because we're going to work with black eyeshadow and for it not to get everywhere, we're going to put the tape so it looks nice and it looks lifted rather than looking down. So like before your eyebrow ends, right there. So this is how it's supposed to look. You can see the cut tape kind of. Now I'm going to grab the black pencil and I'm going to color it in a little bit by doing a small line. And on here on the top, I'm going to do like a little black line just like this. Same to the other side. It's fine if it looks messy. With my brush, I'm just going to smear it so the brush is like a flat eyeshadow brush and just smear it just like this so it looks nice. It's supposed to be kind of smoky like my Avril Lavigne look but more black and smoky like I'm saying. Crayons are better to use as the smoky liner because it actually blends really good because it's a crayon so it's supposed to smear a little bit. I'm gonna grab some more on the brush and I'm just gonna smear it like this just like this. Make sure you don't go like too over the top because if you go too over the top your whole eye is gonna look like you got punched in the face. Guys I dyed my hair darker. Are you loving it? Because I'm loving it. Like I literally was like you know what I thought about it that day and I did it that day because I overthink too much and in order not to overthink just do it and it sounds harder than it actually is. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow and just pat that through to make it more darker. Same on the other eye. And I'm gonna go towards the eye and the nose, but not all the way to the nose. Just like that, make it like into the crease. And I know it looks messy, but we're gonna grab like another fluffy brush and just blend that out. Just like this. We're going off this photo and this photo. I've learned that with hooded eyes, you should go closer to your eyebrow because when you open your eyes, obviously your lid disappears. So you should go like not exactly on your eyebrow, but mostly like right here on the brow bone. So it actually looks like you did eyeshadow because sometimes with hooded eyes, you spent hours and hours with eyeshadow on your eye and all of a sudden when you open your eye, it looks like you did nothing. That's why it's better to go mostly up before your brow it's like where your brow ends like an inch down and now we're gonna work with the bottom obviously on this picture you can see that it's kind of smoky going like it's kind of like uh, siren eyes going up and then right here it's like the waterline like the siren eye so I'm just gonna go in with this little brush and it has black underneath and I'm just gonna smooth it out under my lash I'm not gonna be able to talk but it's fine just smooth it out just like that my eyes always water when I do this I'm blending it a little bit with the brush as I'm putting it on there maybe I should put my mirror closer right here so you can actually see what I'm it because I'm looking at my mirror rather than the viewfinder. I'm gonna go back in with the black crayon and inside the eye and the corner I'm just gonna pull a little bit so it looks more this way so it looks more open and then I'm gonna try to go up into the waterline on top. Putting the pencil in my upper line it sucks so bad because it hurts even more. It doesn't hurt but it just feels weird. The trick is to put it in the corner of your eye and then try to push up a little bit more with the rest. So you go like this and then a little bit by little just go through the end of the eye that's what works for me again with that same brush i'm just gonna pull my lid forward or like make a little line going like this same to the other eye you just brush it on there and you create a little line going like that but make sure you pull the end of your eye so it actually looks like it's extending sort of like that i'm gonna keep on blending the black until it looks nice can you guys see my dog through there? Oh, you can't. He's on the bed. He was laying down on the red blanket, but now he moved. I'm gonna put the black on my lid too, but leaving this corner open. So like this and leaving right here open because we're gonna put some silver shadow right there. We're gonna go in with the silver shadow. Um, This one right here. And we're just gonna put it right there going like this, but tap it on there. We're gonna do it with a few layers. So it actually looks like it's there. So like tap it down like this. I'm gonna take off the tapes now. Let's see how it looks. All right, the bottom looks crazy, so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush a little bit more and just blend it out a little bit because it looks like it has a harsh line right here. All right, you know what? The top looks nice. It's just the bottom that looks weird. I'm putting more black on the waterline. I'm using the black to color in the bottom of my eye to like where your eye bags go. Your eye bags are right here, but the bottom of your eye, there's like a little squishy thing. You just color it in a little bit. And then from the corner of your eye, you drag it up a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna grab my fluffy brush once again. This is how it looks, and I'm just blending the bottom. 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of the liner again with this brush. I'm just color in this one because this one looks like it needs a little bit more. Now we're gonna work with the base because I feel like it needs the base. So I'm gonna grab some concealer, put some on my forehead, a little up on my cheeks because I've been breaking out badly and I hate it and I have not gotten my period because it's not the end of the month. I always get my period at the end of the month. Which kind of sucks if I'm being honest. The worst. But I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. You know how to blend in con concealer and if you don't, you just tap tap until it looks all blended. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour. I'm using the LA Girl Velvet Contour Stick. This is the contour that I always use because it's the only contour stick that I have, but it's fine. I'm gonna put a little bit on the cheeks, not too much. Same on the other side. And for my nose, I decided that I'm going to grab a brush or we're just gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna put like a dot right there and then make it tinier like this. Her nose isn't that tiny, so we're not gonna make it that tiny. Then blend that out. You see, it's blending more easily because I only put a little bit of contour. Usually I put so much, but now it's, I put a little bit and it works so much better. I heard that the tip for making your nose contour actually look good is grabbing a little bit of concealer and putting it right there. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger going down so it makes the nose look kind of small so it kind of changes the shape it looks like she has a purpley blush so i'm going to go in with this makeup revolution blush balm in shade rose lust and i'm just gonna put some on my cheeks this how it looks it's such a pretty blush i'm just gonna put it like that and we're also gonna put some on our nose because it helps with the illusion of making it look smaller i'm just gonna blend that out with the brush purple blush is so pretty i feel like more people should use purple blush because it's the prettiest color ever for the nose contour, instead of going like this, because that makes your nose look even like this, and we kind of want it like that. So instead, I'm going to blend like this, going upwards a little bit. With the blush, I'm going to smile and put in the elbows of my cheeks. I look so weird, but it's fine. I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder, and it's this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour, but it has a powder, and this is what I've been using for my powder. Comment below if it's a bad powder, because I feel like it's too white, but at the same time, if it works, it works. I'm just going to put some under my eyes, going up to the eye like this, because I want the eye to look lifted still. Same to the other side. And then to make the nose look smaller, you want to grab some powder and put it like right under your nose contour, just like that. Same to the other side, or same to the cheeks, like that. And I'm also going to put some on my forehead because I do not want my forehead looking greasy. Fun fact, when you're doing a music video, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you're supposed to use powder because you're filming in like a bunch of lights. So if it gets really sweaty, obviously, you're going to look oily in a video. And I'm pretty sure those videos take longer than my makeup videos because if I were to film a video without setting powder with a bunch of lights, I only have one single light and even with that, it gets hot. So imagine like 10,000 lights. I feel like that's over and done with because my face will be oily. I'm gonna grab a little bit of clear brow gel and since I didn't put any powder near my brows, I'm just gonna brush them up a little bit. I need to buy another one. Look how empty it is. I need to restock on so many of my makeup products. Her lip in this photo kind of looks like my natural lip color or like the lip color that I use. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Gloss. But first, I think I want to go in with like a natural lip pencil. So I'm going to go in with the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in shade My Choice. And just line my lips like normal. Now I'm going to go in with the lip gloss. I need to buy another one. It's so good that I use it so often because it's literally my normal gloss. I'm going to brush off the powder with my fluffy brush and just take it off. You want to take the powder off in the direction you put it on. So like that. You don't want to go like this because then it's going to go everywhere. So you just go like this. Like same with the eyes. You don't want to go all over the face because we used it to make our eyes go higher. So if we put like the powder somewhere else, it's going to make it look somewhere else. It's supposed to kind of shape your face, the powder. It's supposed to help with oil and shaping your face. So if you put like the powder everywhere on your face, obviously it's going to go everywhere on your face and it's not going to look lifted. But if you put it like on the points you want kind of lifted, it's going to look lifted. I forgot what we need is mascara. Why did I almost forget mascara? These makeup looks with that black liner, it looks so much better with mascara. I'm going to go in with this eyelash curler. Usually I like the ones from Dollar Tree because I feel like they curl your lashes more. But I can't find it. But it's good if you use a metal one because they still curl your lashes. And they don't feel like you're going to rip your eye eyelashes. But with the Dollar Tree ones, you feel like you're going to rip your lashes. But they also do them good. So you have to take the sacrifice to actually do it. Not recommending it unless you want to.
I feel like I ripped my lashes right there. Oh wow. I blinked and my eyelashes got so ruined. They're still there, but my eyes are about of water. I'm gonna go in with this. Maybe I don't wanna go in with this. Or maybe I will go in with that one. No, we're gonna go in with the Shido's Lash Perfector Mascara and just put it in our eyelashes. Guys, I would put black on my hair, but my hair's orange, so I don't know if it will actually work. I don't wanna put on any powder products, but we're gonna go in with a little bit of powder just on our forehead because our forehead looks, it looks like it's gone. It looks like a white canvas now. So I'm gonna go in with this powder right here and I'm just gonna put a little bit with this fluffy brush, not that much. I'm also gonna put some on my nose, like this. A little bit on the cheeks. Now that's my makeup all complete. I'm not gonna lie, I vibe with it and I love how it came out because it looks so good. I kept my hair in braids for like three days because it's hot in California. So I need like, I need my hair uh, gone or else I'm gonna chop it off. And now I don't know if I want that yet. But this is the makeup all complete. This makeup get ready with me like where Shakira in her whenever, whenever music video. I actually really like it and I feel like it came out so good, especially the hair. Like I was gonna shower and my hair wasn't gonna look like this wavy. My hair's like naturally kind of wavy, but I had it in braids. So it looks even wavier. Shakira has like, wavy 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 hair so in order to replicate that my hair is like this not that wavy like hers is like loose waves hers are kind of stronger waves and mine are like non-existent kind of because my hair is dead but whatever but this is how the makeup looks let's do a little montage but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm obsessed with the makeup look like i said before but yeah bye my foot's asleep and it's hurting me badly